Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. This is Robin and today I have a cleaning video for you guys. So if you like cleaning videos, this is for you. I like starting off the day tidying up our master bedroom and I already did the cleaning for the week in here so I'm just going to quickly make the bed and then I'll move on to other parts of the house. And if you guys watched my previous video where I talked about our new puppy and showed him, I just wanted to let you know we did settle on a name and we chose Austin. And the Garcia family had commented that that would be a great name and I had to laugh because that was at the top of our list and that is the one that we all agreed on and it does seem to fit him. And if you notice, we have another little doggy here and no, he's not ours. We're just babysitting for him over the Christmas holidays for some friends who are gonna be out of the country. And his name is Odin and these two are like thick as thieves, getting into trouble with each other and keeping life interesting. Before I continue with the cleaning video, I wanted to show you guys these two crazy pups. So our dog Austin received a gift from Odin's parents. They gave him a ball because that is Odin's favorite toy. And so they each have one and they could spend hours playing with these things. In fact, they get in such a frenzy that we have to sort of take them away and let them calm down after a while but um, they had a few skirmishes when one got the other's ball and things like that. But as long as we're there supervising, they can have a great time and get rid of a lot of energy. So upstairs, I wanted to take all of the sheets off our son's bed. He's coming home for Christmas from college and we're so excited, but I just wanna make sure he has some fresh sheets. And then later I'm gonna do some cleaning in his room just to get things ready for him. After I put the sheets in the wash, I wanted to straighten up our entry to the garage. This place has gotten extra busy lately with taking the dogs for a walk. We've got coats because it's cold outside, dog blankets, leashes, shoes everywhere, so I just need to straighten up here. kitchen I just need to put away the dishes that have been drying on the countertop since last night and unload the dishwasher and then reload it with all of the breakfast dishes.
clean the island countertop today, I'm using a damp microfiber cloth from Norwex along with the Caldrea countertop spray and I have it in the Tangelo palm frond scent which is my favorite. I love using products like this because they are made with natural ingredients and I know that they don't have any toxic chemicals that could be harmful to my family or our pets. I buy all my cleaning products from the Grove Collaborative and if you guys haven't checked them out yet, you should use my referral link below so that you can get a 5 piece free gift set with your first $20 order. I love ordering from them, I find that they have the best prices and the best selection of natural products for the home. Along with things that I buy from the Grove, you guys will see me using Norwex cloths. I have cloths like the one I'm using on the counter here dusters and floor mops which are amazing they only need water to work they remove I think 99% of bacteria and I have found nothing that works better if you guys are interested in any of the Norwex products I always have a link in my description box where you can find them I don't know about you guys, but a big part of my cleaning every day is just sort of seeing what needs to be decluttered and tidied up. It really can make a huge difference even when your house isn't spick and span clean. It can really look a lot better when you take time to do the decluttering. Lately I've been leaving out this little watering can to remind me to water our Christmas tree every day. So if you see it there, that's why. Do you guys have little strategies like that to remind you to do things during the day? Let me know in the comment section below what strategies you guys use to help remind you to get things done. I have a to-do list that I check off each day and so if I really need to remember something I will put it on there but sometimes because I guess I'm such a visual person something like this watering can works better than anything to make sure that I do it. I realized as I was editing this that somehow I thought that I had taped me cleaning our coffee table but just so you know I use the method wood for good cleaner and I use that usually every couple weeks to clean the table as needed and once again with the puppies they put their noses on the table and everything so I'll probably be doing it a little bit more often. But if it's not really dirty and just needs dusting, then I'll use either my Norwex Enviro Wand or my Norwex Dust Mitts. To dust the TV, I'm using my Norwex Enviro Wand, and again, I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in any of the Norwex products. While I'm cleaning this morning, I have the Hallmark Channel on. Are you guys obsessed with the Hallmark Channel during the holidays? I don't usually watch it a lot during the year, but I don't know what it is about Christmas time. I just love watching the movies. I like to watch the home and family show to see what they're cooking and what crafts they're doing. I don't know, it's just so festive and fun to have on. And the funny thing is it seems to, for the most part, calm the dogs and relax them. And you know, my boys and my husband aren't interested in watching, so it's nice that they are. The dogs have had a super active morning, so I'm hoping that if I bring their beds out and get them settled, they will calm down and take a nap for a little while.
the dog's nap did not last all that long, but at least I got a little bit of quiet dusting done. And now I'm gonna get out the vacuum and get the floors clean. Odin was curious about the vacuum for a few minutes and then he was over it, but Ospen was totally into it, wanting to play with the vacuum the whole time. <laughs> and I just wanted to say thanks a lot to Nat Owen. He commented that um, Austin could be an Australian Kelpie, and I was not familiar with that breed at all. So we looked it up, and I think he's right. Um, not only does Austin have all of the markings, but he has a lot of the characteristics, and those dogs are used in Australia for herding sheep and other livestock, and that is what Austin loves to do. He loves to push us around with his nose and guide us and direct us, so I think that if he's not all Australian Kelpie, he's definitely part. So thanks Nat for your comment. We probably never would have picked up on that because we weren't familiar with the breed, but it's always fun just kind of learning a little bit more about your dog. And of course we do not know for sure, but that definitely makes sense. And so that's the story we're sticking with. Have a Roomba vacuum too and I have it set to come on about three times a week and it does our main living room area and kitchen but it doesn't come into the dining room area or into the garage entry area where I was vacuuming um, so I don't need to vacuum out here in the living room but because I have the vacuum out I'm gonna go ahead and get up any pine needles that have dropped off the Christmas tree I've been really happy with the Christmas tree that we picked this year. It must have been a really fresh one. It was drinking a lot of water in the beginning and it slowed down a little bit, but it's not dropping very many needles, so I don't have to clean every day. I've only actually cleaned probably a few times since we've had it, and I just hope it continues to last. Now that the sheets are ready, I'm gonna take them upstairs and clean our son's room so everything will be fresh and clean for him when he arrives from college. As I was putting these on, I realized that I got the corners in the wrong places and I shouldn't have had that problem because these sheets that I got from Target are actually marked. It'll say side or top and bottom, but I wasn't paying attention and that's why that happened. But anyway, these sheets from Target have been really good. These aren't very wrinkly and we've had them for a while. The ones I have in our master bedroom are horribly wrinkly and I'm going to look at the label on these and buy some more for our bed when our other ones wear out.
To clean our son's bathroom, I just grabbed my Grove Collaborative Caddy and put in my favorite cleaning items. So of course I have my Norwex microfiber cloth, and this is the window cloth. And then to clean the toilets, I always like to use this Method Anti-Back Toilet Cleaner for the inside. And then on the outside, I really like these 7th generation disinfecting wipes. And then you guys know how obsessed I am with Mrs. Meyer's multi-surface spray. And this one is the orange clove scent, which is one of the Christmas scents. And I think they still have some available along with this cute caddy. So if you guys are interested, make sure to use my link below. I have been enjoying this Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray in the orange clove scent so much. I also have the dish soap and the hand soap and this has been my favorite scent for Christmas. I know they have a couple other scents that are also really great but I'm glad I picked this one. It's kind of fresh. You, you can definitely pick up on the orange and a little bit of spiciness from the clove. It does a great job cleaning and the smells just motivate me to when I'm cleaning and just make the experience so much more fun. Now I'm just gonna set out some fresh towels, make sure there's toilet paper, and then I'm gonna vacuum the floors in here. After vacuuming in the bathroom, I tried to film it, but it was just a little tight and I couldn't get a great angle. I came into his room just to vacuum the carpet quickly and then things are ready for him. downstairs I'm going to clean all of the floors and so since we've had our puppy I just feel the need to mop even more than usual they you know lick things off the floor and they come in with dirty paws so I'm just trying to keep up with all of that and I really love this Norwex mopping system mop and I have the pad on it for tile floors right now and when I go to do the hardwood floors I'll switch it out to the hardwood floor pad and I love these because again, you just use water and they do a great job of getting everything up off the floor and I don't have to worry that my puppy's running around trying to bite them up or lick the floor afterwards that there's anything that he shouldn't be getting into. And if I had small children, I'd feel the same way. My boys are both college age now and I have to say I live with a little bit of mom guilt. 
Let me know if you guys feel the same way. But I just didn't know when they were small about all the harmful chemicals that can be present in a lot of the cleaners that we use. And I do know now and I make better choices but, you know, it is scary to think about what they could have been putting in their mouth and what they were touching, and I just didn't know. So if you guys are moms of littles, make sure that you guys are using products that are not harmful for your children. And there are so many great ones out there, like Norwex and the things that Grove Collaborative sell. So check those out and make sure you make the best possible choices. So my only littles are these little doggies right now, and at least I know the floor is safe for them, but we're gonna hope that they enjoy a nap for a little while, at least long enough to let the floors dry. You know that expression, leave sleeping dogs lie? I think I understand it now. They can really get into a lot of mischief when they're awake. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure when you subscribe, you hit the bell icon so that you can be notified each time I upload a video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Have a great week.